a little more snow than usual and we're out here trying to rescue these haystacks from these deer. We're gonna see if the back of the horse turns here might be the trick. We're looking all over for a place to hide. And the ranchers came by and they said they were done with their trailer. They said, hey, can we borrow that? And they said, sure, take it. So they brought their horse trailer over here and we're sitting in the back of it tonight. I'm pretty sure the deer are gonna show up. So. We'll have to see if we can hit them. Nice pass through. One of the nicest shots I ever made with my recurve. The old Magnus broadhead just slid right through her. Not really the toughest hunt in the world. I mean, I guess we knew the deer were going to be here, but it's deprivation tags are about, I guess. Try to thin them down a little bit so they're not chewing up all the hay and tightly. I suppose we better go look for some deer. Bob, yeah. how come you always got to make such a hard tracking job? That's a blood trail. Huh? That's a blood trail. Oh, come on. Call that a blood trail? <laughs> Show off. Nice doe. What do you plan on doing with her? Pet her or eat her? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Nice big mature doe. She should be delicious. Tasty. Tasty. Tasty, tasty, tasty. 70? Yeah. I don't know. Oh. 
Well, we had fun today. Found my doe here. She only went about 100 yards. Real happy with that shot with my recurve. Like I said before, you know, that the hunt's not a real challenging hunt. You know, we could go out in these sagebrush flats where they're coming out of and try it, but more than likely just end up spooking them out and run them around, a little more stress on them. And the whole idea is to try to keep them from eating the hay. So, you know, if we're here in the evenings and we're, we take a couple and spook them off, maybe they'll be off of it for a day or two. Helps out these ranchers and but they will be back. Oh yeah, they'll be back in here. You know, maybe we'll round up some more boys with some more tags, but running out of season in a hurry. Um, we like nice challenging hunt as much as anybody does, but comes a time when you want to put a little bit of meat in the freezer too. Boomer's been out here for three days and he's shot three with his muzzleloader too. Yeah. And he called me up wondering if I had a place where we could get some does and I told him we could really help these people out so that's what we're doing and it's a lot of fun. <laughs>